みたいなバッグそれはなかなかそうWatched our previous streams. We played the original of this.、Um, it looked a lot like this. Yeah. Oh, is it? You have a scan line setting on it? Yeah. Oh, neat. Yeah, no, they actually have really good um,、uh, settings for the,、uh, for the visuals.、Um, yeah, so you can also、um, have it like that's like the actual colors. Oh,、uh, yeah. That's more. They put so much care into this game. Like, this It's incredible.、Um, okay, so I actually wanted to show, show, show something earlier in this. Okay, so let's start from the beginning. Yeah, sure, let's restart.、Um, so I think the little changes that they've made aesthetically while not changing, like, the game is like pixel perfect reproduction in terms of like physics and such.、Um, so none of the physics have changed. It's essentially the same game with a new coat of paint, but it's an insanely good coat of paint. Well, I think we're gonna like, see that like, the coat of paint like, makes a huge difference in terms of how the game feels.、Um, what studio did this?、Uh, Lizard Cube.、Um, yeah. And they're located in France, I believe. Yeah.、Um, but they had input from the original creator.、Um, and yes, the original ran at、um, 60 Hertz or. Almost 60 hertz in、uh, NTSC and would have been slower in the PAL versions.、Yeah. That's just like the way video games meant for CRTs, they have to be synced to display rates. So, yeah, I'm just gonna like go and show what this is like in retro mode. Just to, uh, because like I think it's really important that, that the physics are like. So, yeah, make the top right,、um, but do it in the pretty version. There, that is something that they've changed in terms of context. The game is exactly the same, but having that little rewind sound、um, and putting you back very clearly at the start、ah. um, is something that's different. It always did loop back like that, but it was、right. sort of presented more as like an endless labyrinth. Yeah.、Um, which is a classic sort of Wonder Boy thing. Again, this one is starting where Wonder Boy. Wonder Boy 2 Monster Land 1. I, I think that that opening cutscene. Yeah. Can you turn around the way up a little?、Um, I think it reset the bug. Sounds better.、Um, But I just like, I feel like the important thing is like, this doesn't feel great the way like your attack works. 
Yeah. It just like it's not very. No, and they changed that for the. Um, the next time this creator worked on a Wonder Boy, he changed a lot of but stuff. But in this, about how the sword works. works the same. It's just, just the animation that's changed. Yeah, is there like go back to the? Uh, there's still not really any like anticipation um, on it. It's just better animated. Yeah. It's still pretty much instant. Hmm. It's instant, but then there's frames of follow through. Yeah. So it goes instantly into the attack pose the same way the other one does, which is important for gameplay. But then has like the hair and cape adjusting afterwards. That makes such a big difference. Oh, it's huge. Um, like, the other I thing do think it still feels slightly weird. Like, yeah. I think there's no escaping that. It's just. Yeah, no, that's some of the, like, the some of the original <sighs> jank. That's what really impresses me, is that the game's a little bit slippy, and they tone that slippiness into this really nice transition animation. Look at that. So there's like, few like, yeah, frames where just, you're not going to have control. It's just it, that you slide. Yeah. Like, in the original, it's just... But they turn that into... This absolutely gorgeous It's the exact animation. opposite feeling. Like, instead of slipping, this, this feels like very... You're super in control. I love it. And oh my god, the, like, the, 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 the subtle... Uh, Parallax on the on the candles. Yeah, that's no, so that's good. another thing. I think that they're mapped. Yeah, they are because I can see a little bit of blur. The candles were actually mapped to some geometry in some way. Um, so one thing oh, that yep, is still, still there, the same, uh, really weird. Uh... <laughs> there's no way they could change that. No, of course not. Breaking one I of mean, the bosses. Right, they'd have to completely change it. Um, what we're talking about is the fact that you can get stun locked in this game like pretty much no other okay. game. <laughs> <laughs> like that. But you won't get damage during those stun locks, and they actually use yeah. that for one of the bosses, so... Um, the game is built around expecting that stun lock. <laughs> <laughs> this is an easy one because your human form is very powerful. Um, I think someone was mentioning the sword range seemed weak. It's actually a bit farther than the graphic shows. I think- Oh, oh fuck! I goofed! I fucked up! <laughs> oh, it's so good looking. So it also like the, the super fast attack. Um, if you like jam it quickly, that thing where it goes only a short distance, yep. that's still in. And that's intentional because it wasn't a hardware limitation. Other attacks can be spammed. Yeah. Um, they just in, wanted to make it so yeah. that. In earlier games, that often was actually a, a hardware limitation. Uh, um, only in like, only on like the Atari. Yeah. It's it's a very specific Atari Twenty Six Hundred limitation. And past that, um, you can have very flicker. large numbers of. Or you'd flicker if there was a limit to how many you could have in horizontal. Yeah. And that's which a big is a issue. limitation on yeah. bit. No, that's that that's a huge issue. Uh, is that it was on a per scan line basis. Um, switch back to the retro one for a bit, just so people can see. It's like they've done a lot more theming of individual areas. Yeah. Um, yeah, I know, like this environment this is, one is very, like, very generic. There's a theme to its, um, to what's going on, but it didn't look different in terms of the background. This whole like skull motif. Yeah. Oh, back up. Oh, right. Yeah, no, the, the lizard form is very nonplussed. That was a good use of like subtle. God, I love that. Love that. Yeah, it's so <laughs> nicely animated. Also, I... like this background is gorgeous. Like all of this. It is, I feel like, one of the best-looking 2D platformers made. Straight up. Um, the art is just so good. And also the um, the oh, title man, of the game. This version of the song. Yeah. Oh, 
so good. The title changes based off um, if you pick uh, the boy or the girl. So yeah. now all the titles can say Wonder Girl. Like, this is an extra treat for me because very few of the games I grew up, grew up with have had <laughs> any sort of remake made. Um, and as someone who grew up with a master system, this was a big game. <sighs> the recontextualization of this. Yeah, go switch to the... Yeah, like, th this feels so inexplicable in, like, yeah. what is What is going what is on this? here? Oh, it's a well in a barn. That makes perfect sense. And even, like, the secret area is contextualized well. Uh, is it down here that I have to go? Um, I think it's the first one is down that well there. Um, the sound effects and like i love like the vine going up like yeah every time just a chance to make something a bit more like set pc visually um they've done it uh, is there a quick switch button for the music oh yep you press a trigger here let's put the, the retro audio into uh fm mode yeah so it's That's... at least the best version <laughs> on the original hardware. But I honestly feel like the music in this game is not anything super interesting. Like, this is just... There's nothing in it that I find particularly memorable compared to, say, Monster World 4, which has, like, a really great yeah. uh, soundtrack. Really good use of that uh, that one light motif. Like, um, Yeah, no. But they've done a really great job of, like... So I actually, yeah, yeah, no, so I think that's the thing, like, honestly, like, this instrumentation, like, really makes a big difference. It just has, like, a lot more character. Ah. Oh, there's a really good, like, the audio environment <laughs> stuff in yeah. there is great. This is not that, I think it's down there. Yeah, it's down this one then. Yeah, down the well. Oh, do they? Hmm. That's some really good, I can't remember the name for it, but the sort of background audio that they add. Oh, yeah. To give atmosphere there. I'm not sure how much of that comes across the stream. Yeah, there's just like this um, really good uh, white noise. Um, yeah, the European cartoon looked like it is actually a uh, French. I, and I feel like it, it fits this game so well. Oh, like, yeah, no. <laughs> yep. Why does dragon have shit? Why does lizard have shit jump? Go into the shadow and uh, breathe some fire. Oh, is oh that my layer God. not in there in the other? No, it's, no, it's it a lot is, but it's, Yeah. I think they I can't tell if they're dark, making it darker or not, so that it has more contrast than the dark. I think it's like I, I think the reflection, like like the, uh, the the light is the same color no matter what. Mm -hmm. So, which is really good because like yeah, it means it lights up more in the. Oh my god, the crouching pose is incredible. Yeah, I hadn't noticed. There's that. There's a little bit of that in the original. If you switch over, <laughs> if I remember correctly, yeah. <laughs> but it has so much more character in the new art. Oh. <laughs> She's not having a great time. Um, uh, this bully is not making it through the stream, but like the texture of everything is amazing. Yeah, you can, like, just, you can like, actually see like some of the pencil paper, strokes yeah. and stuff on it. It's so good. Oh man, so grumpy. I like how that's just still inexplicable. 
has a building lead there, don't worry about it. Yeah, this is like one thing that by having better out you you lose <laughs> is the finding out that, that was a ship is a big deal. I feel like in the original. I feel it's it's a worthwhile. Quote. I feel like it's worth it. Like that like that's still gonna be a satisfying payoff when you realize that like you can go into the ship. Yeah. So again, like totally like all these generic rooms have their own sort of yeah. themes. And we can afford nothing. We can afford absolutely nothing. Oh, they give notes now on what the what yeah. they do, which is nice. Oh yeah, so like it says like what the different um, uh, actual um, effects are. No, and this stuff is important because each character has their will like have their own version of what the stats are for specific armor. Yeah, so it's an interesting note that like they they've added like some um, flavor text for all these because that wasn't there in the original. Yeah. Um, this line um. um Andy was asking about this on Twitter, and it's a mistranslation because they're French. Oh. They didn't realize that the English word crossdresser had, like, crossdress has gendered connotations. Mm. They just, like, oh, just dress like a goblin. So oh. apparently they're looking into that. This, the chest rooms. Oh my god! They actually, like, it's a giant chest with <laughs> weapons switch back and forth so people can see. <laughs> Yeah, like this is this is has no no sort of. It's such a good art direction. Like, wow. just... like this just adds so much charm that com feels completely in character with, with like everything. Yeah, no. So we're here for the key, right? Yeah, we just need to get the key so we can go up the tower. Oh, the... can we switch to retro graphics in the shop? Yeah. yeah, yeah. This is what it. This is what it looks like normally, with the shopping, please. Which I think this is mostly the same art as in Wonder Boy 2, the arcade game. Mm. Oh, so go into the shop again. The music thing, they did made it sound like it's on a radio, and if you look, there's a little radio. If you go and oh, wait for a oh, little that's radio. What, oh, and it says shopping, please. <laughs> and on a the bunch sign. of the weapons and such <laughs> in the background. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Oh. So much charm. Oh. oh no, yeah. Well, we're really weak right now. Yeah, extremely weak. Last time we were playing, we were like pretty much fully powered up. Yep. Oh, let's try and knock this fucker out. I think you can switch between those. I think there's yeah, there, 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 a shortcut there's, key. Yeah, there's a shortcut key for it. I just couldn't remember what it was. How do you actually... Oh, it's um, circle. Okay. Fuck! I'm so bummed. No. This, it's PS4, Switch, I think Xbox One. The P I'm, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, check out what they do for the, the Circle of Hearts. And the chance of getting. Oh, and the goofy look is from the original. Yep. Okay, so what was that a key for? And it'll be on the PC eventually. Yeah, I think next week. Oh, okay. Or this week, like very soon, yeah, I think. Yeah, well, that soon. Honestly, I'm amazed that they did a simultaneous uh, PlayStation Switch release. That's like, that's yeah. a lot. So where are we going right now? Um, you, I think you have the... I have the key. Oh yeah, you need to go back then, actually. 
What's the key for? I can't remember. Um, it's for the tower. Oh, okay. I have I all of the things those. with, like... That is the one thing, it's um, slightly... Although, I probably would have tried this first. Given. It's a small enough world that I feel the yeah. bit of, oh man, all of this is like distinct art. Oh, wow. The whole it being a windmill thing isn't. So that's going to lead to the hard stuff one. Yep, that we way. do not. Oh, right, there's an arrow there now. Oh, that's really smart. Yeah, so they added a little bit of signposting. all these covers. Yeah. This is, I think, like the one song in the yeah. game that is a little bit, um... Whoops, that wasn't. <laughs> I don't know. Like they the hinted original the feels, water down there, which is not. That's hinted. really important. I feel like that's just yeah. a, that's just feels like straight up a mistake in the in the original that they didn't. Yeah, that's actually. secret. Do yeah. we have any? Um... Uh, yeah, I do have a. <laughs> oh, or I could just get hit. Yeah, that also that works. works too. <laughs> Do I go to the end and get stuff in the chest before oh, right. we? I feel like we may as well since or we're going to just here. die. I feel like that's probably oh, going to be more that's likely. Quite likely. It's okay. I'll be able to get some armor. I, I think not having the, the crabs in the water is just straight up a mistake. They could have just moved them like eight pixels up and like drawn water. Yeah, although like it, I think it was in the spirit of some of the stuff that was done at that time of having secrets be. Yeah, I just think slightly it's a bad, too secret. I think, yeah, I think it's a, it's a bad call. Yeah. Yeah, we'll get some armor the next time around. Yeah, we could do a bit of farming and... Go yeah, no. Down. Well, I, haven't, I didn't end up getting the chest. But we have enough now, I think, for some of the goblin armor. Yeah, I think we can get the goblin armor. We can probably at least do a run and get to the... Uh... I want to get the... Uh the key for the dungeon, even if we don't do the dungeon. So yeah, that great little touch that your fireballs work as a shield before you have a shield for projectiles. Okay, so circle to drop. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Oh, no. oh no! Wow, everything about that did not go well. That was just like a lot of failures. There's hints now. Hmm. Looking at like where you are in the game. I always get Rygar and Rastan mixed up. I should go get the, uh, the goblin armor. Yeah, I'm just seeing what's available here also. Oh, that's also. Yeah. 
I wouldn't bother with the, uh, the... Yeah, we may as well go to, uh... But I got the sword, because... Okay. Yeah, the other There's place no... have yeah. a sword? Okay. Nope. And no point getting Make a sure shield. Equip it. A triangle. Oh. That's the thing. There, there are two menus now. One for the settings and one yeah. for this. And if you press start, it'll pull up the... Uh... <laughs> Okay, it looks like it oh, auto switches. It on, uh, yeah, okay. it's like it's, uh, some little quality of life stuff that have nothing to do with the like. There is one the other. Um, I feel I think this is the only change they made to the uh, uh, like the systems of the. Not that way. Oh, uh, whoops! Yeah. Uh, pull up the menu again. This menu or this no, one? This one. You notice that? Uh, look at your armor. Uh, you notice that there's one stat not here? Um, what was this? Charisma. Oh. As far as I can tell, they got rid of it. Interesting. I wonder what happens when you pull it up in the in the retro menu. Yeah. Um, Hit R2. Two. Wait. Okay. Oh, uh, two, three, three, oh, no. I'll get that. Oh, oh okay. It's the same menu. Which makes sense because this was, uh... And they did also change the, uh, the UI on the... Yeah. His matches. Um, if you didn't see our, our stream of the original game, uh... The Charisma system is basically, uh... You could collect jewels that appeared, um, like, as, as random drops. And also, um... And that would inc increase your charisma stat, and it would also be modified by um, your, uh, you know, your armor and your form. Certain forms were prettier than other forms. Yeah, and all this did was it, um, uh, it affected uh, the prices of things. And what? what and there you is, could buy. yeah, yeah, the price of things and what you could buy. Um, <laughs> Andy points out that the the. Right, and one other thing was that um, there is a single secret that revolved that that required you to have your charisma maxed out. Mm. But other than that, it was mostly just change the prices, and it's awful. Like it's just a miserable system. What you do is like you have to before you go shopping, you change your armor to whatever has the most charisma, and then change it back again. This is like terrible. Um. So they've just taken it out entirely, which I think is an extremely I wonder, good decision. I wonder if they've also fixed the one bug, uh, like the big bug, which uh, was the uh, one we got. Yeah, I heard they didn't. Um, like they didn't change the behavior of the of that armor. See, so yeah, there's an armor that's supposed to give you like one extra life, kind of, and then be broken and have to be rebought. But the problem is they don't actually register that you've unequipped it until you look at the menu. So if you just never look at the menu, you'll respond forever with it. Um, this is a really nasty bug because in the original you can't... Oh, I bet, I bet, no, I bet they did fix it because, um... Uh, you can always pull up the menu. The reason why it existed in the yeah. original was because you couldn't pull up the menu during a boss fight. So if you can... We should see if you can pull that up during a, yeah. during a boss fight or not. Okay, go with me. I don't think we can afford that shield. Nope. <laughs> uh, this doesn't have a teleport. Okay, apparently the menu works during a boss fight. Uh, I used my one arrow and wasn't able to kill a cool Yeah, I keep, I keep missing it. It's really hard to hit. Sunglasses suck. 
Really, I think they're kind of cool. For a jerk. Exactly. that breaks blocks was also changed so you don't have to specially equip it. I thought you didn't have to in the original. I uh, thought that was the one where like once you got oh, it. Oh they might mean the creation one. Oh okay. Yeah the creation one I think had to be specially equipped. The break mm. like blocks break blocks one. <laughs> um, oh maybe it's just oh, oh I see. It, they change it to be a bracelet so you know that you don't have to equip it. That makes sense. Uh, okay, yeah because yeah. it doesn't make sense for it to be a weapon like it kind of inexplicable. It just sits in your inventory and it works no matter what. Which is better design-wise, but also, like, we didn't know, so we kept switching to that whenever we wanted yeah. to break bricks for a while. Okay, I should go. We never figured out how to open this one when we did our one because we skipped, like, the last chunk of the game. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a next please sign now? Oh, the hurt crab <laughs> and giant needle. It's cute. Now like a real anticipation. Oh to, yeah. yeah, so you can actually like there's a certain amount of the other one, but it's yeah. not nearly as that's really good. Yeah, no, I mean, it was easier to grab the money. Ah. In case it was good money, but it wasn't. It was not good money. definitely true that this, um, yeah, like this, this originally being a Sega Master System game is, it's honestly very impressive for the era. Like, 
especially like a lot of the awkward menus are um, there weren't really like a lot of good menus uh, yeah. <laughs> in games at the time. And it's like one of the first Metroidvanias. I mean, um, structure wise. Yeah. God, I will say, like, this map, it's so much easier to understand than the original Metroids, which is just a disaster. Like, if, if you can, like, if you compare the two, there is absolutely. Well, the original Metroid, the original Metroid was also, is fucking impossible. It was also doing stuff like flipping rooms upside down so they could reuse them to make the area bigger. Like, yeah. There's a lot of hacks to make it as big as possible, which they clearly were not trying to make this a huge game. Which is, like, absolutely the right decision, because it still feels big. You just don't get lost. Like, there's some points where like you're not... it's dense with some distinct areas. There's some points where you're not sure which direction you're going, but you never get lost. Okay. And again, that chest is so good. Wow, I love it. And, like, comparing, like, the, the menu to Metroid again, which didn't have that at all. There's, there's clearly, like, some, um... Like, there's definitely, like, some weirdness with, you know, like, you can't, like, switch magic during a fight, because, during a boss fight. Like, yeah. because you can't pull out the magic, which is... I'm not sure what, what, what caused that decision, to be honest. Like, I can't tell if they were, like... They didn't want you to be able to switch magic. But magic is so weak against the enemies. Yeah, that it's yeah. Not. Like magic is almost never useful against bosses. I hate this bit. <laughs> yeah, got it. Nailed him. Fucker. It is a weird to play this game looking this way, but still have my muscle memory work. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Do you feel like that's like a big thing? Like there, there's a lot of. I don't know how many oh, games. Wow. Like, is it? Yeah. Check this out. They're making the character darker as you go over there, so you can get that nice silhouette. That's it. Yeah, they definitely have like a lighting so, system going on here. Yeah. Is, that's so good though. So you get that nice silhouette by the sun. Yeah, Chess talking about remakes, and I feel like this is actually pretty unique in terms of being like an HD remake, but following like the exact same uh, physics and like like replicating it down to like really small details. Like if you compare, um, like, again, I, I go to Metroid, but like Zero Mission is just straight up like the original Metroid with their new engine, whereas this is yeah. they actually remade. Yeah, they ripped apart the original engine and used it as the backbone of this, from what I understand. Like. Just like the fact that, like, if you switch over to the retro graphics, it is indistinguishable in terms of how it, like, other than being widescreen. Yeah, it's widescreen, and they change the UI, but that's that's it. It's otherwise, and and they pulled out one of the more egregious uh, <laughs> mechanics. Oh man, that face! Yeah, they got like an important thing like across the uh, the Wonder Boys, which is the enemies being killed should make a funny face. Like it's that so is important. One of the, like golden rules. It's so important. They gotta have that good funny face. Oh, interesting. So for this one, they kept sort of a tomb background. Oh, good point. Someone mentions is um uh, the remake of Sonic CD, which is oh. um which is also that approach, and it's really good. And for non-action games, I'd say the uh, the remakes of Full Throttle and such. Mm. But I feel like in that case, they really tried to keep because the pixel art was really good. They tried to keep very faithful to that. But it's like it's kind of a slightly worse version than the pixel art. I feel because it is mostly like filters with touch up. Yeah, I mean, I feel like what makes it stand apart is that like it's it's the original, but it is also like just their animations make it feel better. Like. Like, I feel like that's the, the fatal flaw of the... Yeah! It's so good. And like, yeah, switch the retro mode. Like, just, just show that. Like, that's not... Yeah. yeah. And it's interesting, because like, that jump is already like, a lot like a lot of Super Nintendo jumps. The 
that's a fairly classic. As someone who's animated a lot of jumps, <laughs> uh, the foot switch is a pretty classic way of um, dealing with the limitations you of play, show that jumping again? in games. So yeah, that just spreads them apart. You can see it sort of it's like leads with one foot and then the feet switch in midair. And you sort of do that exaggeration there and the exaggerated landing because in a game jump you can't really have any anticipation. Yeah. Unless you want to have Prince of Persia jumping. Which, which you don't. I just, I like, like, I feel like... <laughs> like a big part of what makes that work is that like, like, your jump feels like you're really trying very hard. Like, in, in the 8-bit version, it just looks like um, you have a shitty jump and it feels very frustrating. That's partially a limitation of 8-bit, but it's also a limitation of the fact that there usually weren't trained animators on games at that time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, again, there's a bit of anticipation for them to make the timing easier to learn. Apparently something happens if you, uh, if you mash the, uh, the graphics switch button. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's really cool. Miguel, you broke it! <laughs> so there's like some stuff trying to give players a sense of timing here, but it's much better here where there's the open and then like the yeah. slow bending. So I think they just couldn't do with the frame limitations easily. Um, and follows clearly like the intent. Really? Show, show me again. Do you see here there's a flash that gives you a... Like, they did do stuff to try to give you a sense of the timing. Oh, I see. It's a col it's, it's not um, it's not a frame limitation thing, it's a color limitation. Like, they couldn't actually add an extra color to that sprite. Oh, yeah. I'm just saying it was like having like, the mouth yeah. slowly open or something like that. Well, I think they want to keep it really snappy. Um, oh, yeah. I feel like, like, the animations do a lot of work to make it feel okay that, like, the drag, like, the lizard man form is really sluggish. Yeah, no, it, it sells it. Like, it feels very frustrating in the original. It's a diamond shape, I think, looking at how it's distorting. Hmm. It's projected on, I think it's projected onto a diamond shape. Um, you can switch between the original and the remake at any time, it's just a button. Yeah, I just... And you can also, um, press a button to switch to the original music. 
Which button is it for the music? Uh, you punch in the, uh, the right stick. Uh, no, Andy, what are you getting at with the music? Listening really careful to the music, wonder what the deal is. Yeah. Oh. Switch the original again. Original music. Oh, yeah, sorry. There's a lot of. Oh, I see. Yeah. Right. There is. There's only one. Um. Like there's only one dungeon music, right? Hmm. But so they. What they're doing is they're changing the instrumentation of it. Oh, neat. So, like, right now, this is, you know, desert-themed. Wow, that's really cool. Oh, yeah, this. This is fucking bullshit. <laughs> Yeah, it's a really smart decision that... I'm really surprised... So I think a lot of the stuff with the music um, is, is less technical limitations and just more, like... Um, it's like we're talking about, um, like, all, um, like, a lot of the menu stuff was just they, they, were, they were bound by technical limitations, or... But I think with the music, a lot of, um, like, the... What makes it not quite so interesting in the original is a lot of the sit like they just didn't um, like know how to push it farther. Because, um, for example, Shit. that sort of thing would actually be extremely easy to do on the um, um, the FM uh, the FM version of the uh, of, of the game's uh, soundtrack. Because, um, like on the 8-bit version, like on on the uh, like. Wait, I love the ghost's little... Look for the next ghost. Oh. Oh shit. Oh, neat. Cool. You can do it. If I can remember the pattern. So far the answer is Oh right, is no. your 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 fireball dies if you get hit. Yeah. What's the trick for this one again? using the magic by mistake. <laughs>
I was gonna say, the music, um, like, there's two different versions, right? Um, there's the, uh, um, normal Sega Master System audio, uh, which is just, um, you know, bleep loops. It's, uh, shit, I'm not sure it's not. Sorry, no talking for a second. Sure. I was looking at the background with the Anubi. And that the, is the, and the pink Anubis. coffin. She's gonna hang up so Mouse design here. is a little bit less Mickey now. I believe the artwork is done by one of the main developers. Um, like one of them is, I believe, classically trained as an animator. Like, whoever did it clearly is. Yeah. <laughs> you don't animate this well. Um. <laughs> oh yeah, my teeny little... <laughs> tiny little mouse sword! Ah, so they do explain how to... Yeah. Right, so I was what saying is um like you know original Sega Master System uh you know it's it, it's all bleep loops. I don't know exactly what what channels were available. But it was not good. Right. I don't know how it compared to the NES that was I also assume, not good. I assume probably less, I assume probably fewer channels just because it was, um, um, older. Um, but it had more color, so that's not a safe bet. Um, <clears throat> oh, nice. Wow. See, that's why I want to make it right. here. Yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Shield. A nice fit for rodents. Let's grab it. <laughs> so check out the return room. Ah, this is incredible. Yeah. Oh my god, the, the otherworldliness. Yeah, no. And like the neon sign. Right, but anyway, um, the, the version of the retro music that we were listening to is actually the, um, the FM Sense version. <laughs> so you get a password if you go in in retro mode? Um, I'm not sure. Yep. Yep. Gives you a password. And you can use the passwords from the original game in this one and they'll work. And I guess um, it's just the same password system straight up.
plus special. I wonder what yeah. what does. That's Look at this. Uh, Look at the the statue. Oh my god. Yeah, the way that they use para like subtle three D parallax effects while keeping stuff two D. Well, also the parallax on the field itself. I don't. I like. I don't know if they're if it's actually three D or they're just doing a distortion on it. I think they probably. I think it's just a distortion. Yeah. I think it's just like. Yeah, I'd be surprised if. You know, I feel like 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 definitely um, they're doing a lot with instrumentation. This is just the. I'm gonna pull up the original uh, music too. Okay, yeah. I can switch back now. Oh, I forgot I could turn around and block those with my shield. You should switch back because yeah. it's better. <laughs> I feel like that makes such a such a big difference. Suddenly, tremendously a place. Yeah, the, the amount of which they toned places that were so sort of kind of generic in the game into like individual locations. Are they transitioning to? Uh... I think that might be. Uh... Gotta get the secrets. but they also still feel like the same enemies. Yeah. Well, I feel like that's like definitely like a continuing thing in the uh, Wonder Boy Monster World games. Where yeah. It's the graphics the keep getting better, but the, the enemies do feel like they're... Yeah. I love the little motion graphics effect with the rainbow that comes in. Yeah, it's good. That's a good attack. Yeah. Bonus. I'll grab that. Just classes. Yeah, I love how kind of sad this version of this song is compared to. Oh, it's kind of like the little twinkles with like a sort of mysterious feeling to it. Whereas this is just very, yeah, whereas the retro version is just, you know, yeah. adventuring off into danger, very standard. What happens when you hit those things? It still has to stay inexplicable. Yep. Yeah, I still don't know what's up with those. That, that still, that, that feels like a mistake that they should have. Something about. I just wonder if there's something eventually where that does something. I like that the bat actually makes a little flappy noise. Oh my god, that's so cute! Calm the fuck down. <laughs> I wonder what it is that, that's causing that. That's causing what? The audio to change. Like, there's clearly a more intense version that sometimes kicks in, and I'm not sure yeah. who's doing it. Or if it's just. Like, just. It was doing A. Yeah. An intense part. <laughs> I 
But yeah, what I was gonna say is like there's no there's not really much for concept of instrumentation when you're like talking about like, you know, like very simple wave channels, like um, I like I don't know what what, what the master system is like, but yes, boomerang. Essential for this section. But you know, like on Yen Yes you had uh uh, square wave, sine wave, sawtooth, and I want to say another square wave and noise. Like it's 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 really limited and like. I like the subtle way they scale the blocks. Yeah, it's good. But like you you can't really like evoke different instruments with using that. Like whereas with FM synthesis, that's like that's what it's all about. Is that you can have a large number of instruments. Um, it's um have like a number of different uh, like modifiers for, for music and then you like choose what order they go in and like the, like doing like those small variations like gives you a huge range of so like as a result like you, you can make a bunch of different instruments. Um so they could have done something like that with the with the boss music it wouldn't have actually taken up any more um like it would have taken up a really small amount of space. Yeah. If they just made it so that like when you fight the bosses it has different instruments playing. I think but playing the same of the FM synthesis was really weird. Like there are games that were out in regions that did not have um, the FM synthesis hardware, but had it implemented. That's so like, weird. It's yeah, it was clearly a messy time for that standard. And they might also, and Sega might also not have communicated well to developers like what was actually available in regions, like. So they might not have known that like yeah. there might not be a reason to implement it or not. But it is the case that, like, they did, in fact, make an FM sense version of, of the audio. They just, um, didn't quite know that that would be an interesting thing to do with it. So, like, it's a thing where, like, they made the soundtrack in more interesting here by... Some of that is legit just, uh, like, more advanced technology, but I think a big part of it is just, like, knowing, like, what... Which, like, some of the things are a bit out of date game design wise in it where exactly. it's like this has less to do with the hardware and more to deal do with where conventions were at the time mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the history behind uh FM synth in uh, the master system is really complicated. Uh, well, the master system think, itself well, is really complicated because there are multiple versions in Japan. Yeah, so the master system was an upgraded version of. Uh, I can't remember it's what like it was called. I think it was Sega, Sega Mark Lung. III, I think. The, the Mark III, yes, yeah. that's correct. Um, and that was like, and part of that upgrade included. Um, uh, the FM synth. Then they released the Western Master System, which <laughs> did not have the FM synth, um, but was had that name anyway. And there's important things. Did the Mark III have a snail game built into it? That's what I want to know. I cannot answer that question. Okay, NES was two square waves, a triangle wave, a PCM, and noise. Oh, yeah, triangle sawtooth. So, which one was that? And that's the NES. Okay. Oh, yeah, this bit. There's no point in. Give me my fucking key! Oh, don't beat me up, give me a key. <laughs> Oh, I love all the like the candles on the tree there. That's really, that's really good. Oh, and the stairs going up that just like hint at you know there's something above. Yeah. Oh, and the roots of the tree in this area. <sighs> Sorry, just here to farm. 
Good old agriculture. Might as well get a new heart. There's always a new heart near each boss. Let's see what this guy's got for sale. Oh, potion. Oh yeah, this is the one place you can buy potions. Right. If we're gonna try for another boss. <laughs> Just the exit. Uh, I believe. Oh wait, there's three rooms. No, it's no, no, yeah. The third room is the door to go back. Oh yes, this is now in a big tree. Yeah. And just like like that, like the like, like the ladder leading up as a hint that there's something there is such a good touch. Let's see the bring attention. Oh yeah. Make sure you've got the right spot. Okay. The original Sega Master System had three square waves, one noise channel, and one PCM channel. Is that better than the NES? Or is uh, it... So, like, what three square waves means is that um, you can't really, like, like, most square waves sound very similar no matter what you do to them. You can change the duty cycle, which like changes the way it sounds slightly, but it doesn't really like it, it won't make it sound that different. But it's the case of like you play three notes at once. Okay. Whereas which is, you know, like obviously a big, big deal that gets you, you know, chords. Um And you couldn't do that with the NES? Uh well you had less. Um, basically, oh, no, <laughs> apparently you couldn't even change the duty cycle, so yeah, so basically, like, every game is going to sound like it has the exact same instrumentation. Got it. But you can do more notes. You can... Like, except for the PCM channel, which, like, that gets you, um, that lets you do, like, that, that, that's basically you have one channel to do something distinctive with, and otherwise everything... Uh, okay, chat's saying confusing things. Okay. Getting some, getting some mixed, uh, signals here. And I'm just curious, because I know, like... But basically the result is that, like... Everything is going to sound very homogenous. Yeah. I'm mostly curious because of just how much better the um, the graphic side of the Master System was. The other thing is that, like the NES, is not a homogenous piece of hardware. Um, um, the Famicom Disk System gave you uh, a lot more to work with, like. Uh, it's interesting. Yeah, that in they, general, they... in Japan, <laughs> these consoles got a lot more weird variations. Um, Definitely. Like both the Master System and yeah, and and I honestly I don't know. See. <laughs> that walk animation is not <laughs> not great now. It's, it's not. And then, yes, right, someone else brings up, um, for example, in, um, I believe it's the NES uh, Castlevania 3, I want to say, uh, they just straight up put, like, another audio channel in there, like, in the, uh, the card, yeah. Yeah, yeah, 
which is really expensive to do, and there's a reason why no one does that, but that's like one of the things that's like... That, uh, in that, that you could do in, in, in cartridge-based games is you'd always just put in another chip. Is the Castlevania the one where they did that, but they only did that in the, um, uh, the Japanese one and yes. it's missing in the North American? Correct. I've listened to a lot of Retronauts. I know a lot about <laughs> games I've never played. And, like, honestly, it makes such a big difference. Um, like, just having that one extra... Like, it really is just night and day. I really like the eyes on these dudes. <laughs> oh, no, it's because they changed the cartridge port on the NES. Um, so you actually couldn't have uh, that chip ah. in, the, in the US version. Interesting how they show the central bit that you're going to go through. They hint at it. Yeah. Well, they do that in the original, don't they? It's just black. It's just that. Hmm. Yeah, I feel like they're doing like a lot more with the hinting now. Yeah, no. Which is just always better. Okay, so no, it uh, the, the Master System did not have a PCM channel. What it did have was the ability to play a sample by using all three square waves. Oh, wow. Which, um, Oof. I imagine, like, three square waves actually gets you a lot, but the problem is you're just using the entire audio hardware to do that, so you can't play anything else while you're doing yeah. that. There's definitely a lot less memorable music on the Master System than the NES. Yeah. Um, I think, like, outside of maybe the Fantasy Star soundtrack. Mm. Do you want to drop back to the um, original music? For this? Yeah. yeah. Huh. See? It's the same, like, it's always the same music for this. Yeah. But, like, they, they're just changing the instrumentation. I compare that with the, uh, yeah. the, the the desert version earlier. Cool. And that is a trick that they could have done in the FM synth version. They just yeah. didn't. Okay, it was more than one channel added by the uh, the Castlevania chip. Here. 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 Use a better sword <laughs> against these guys. Yeah, that that's really not. Here. What sort do you have equipped? Um, I've got... They, they were like this in the when we played through. Oh, sorry, I keep on forgetting. <laughs> Shogun Blade. Mm. Oh yeah, I, I feel like that's the one that you... Oh. Oh, this did have a separate theme for this bit also. Oh. Yeah, nice. <laughs> the little you found the secret theme. Yeah, I, I don't know the technical details of um, um, the Master System's FM Champ. I'm guessing it was uh, probably less versatile than the uh, the Genesis's. I know we which I can yours. yeah I can talk about the Genesis, uh, not the. Well, we looked into it. I can't remember exactly, but I think it was not quite as good. What's interesting is a Master System plus a uh, the FM chip thing is starting to like, it's like a weird in between, uh, the way that the Turbo Graphics is kind of in between generations, it's in between the Turbo Graphics and the NES at that point. I 
don't actually know anything about the Fantasy Stars. They, they've never been, like, gotten, like, any sort of, like, remakes, have they? No remakes, but there's been some collections, I yeah. think. Yeah, yeah, like, um, I know, um, I know they're on, like, the, the Vita, for example. Yeah. One, definitely, like, in a similar way that this feels sort of ahead of its time, um, has some of that same feeling. Like, it, at least in North America, it came out around the same time as the first Final Fantasy. <laughs> Man, that's not, that's not a great game. No. Um, but, like, Fantasy Star had, like, a cast of distinct characters that had, like, yeah. stories built around them. Um, there apparently have been Fantasy Star remakes on the PlayStation 2. Okay. Huh. Of the originals, or of the, like, of the original one, or of the later ones? Uh, I assume the originals. It sounds like what they're saying. Hmm. I feel like I would have come across that. But... Hmm. Yeah, I, I like. I feel like the problem with the. Uh... Oh yeah, no complete remakes of uh, Fantasy Star One and Two. Oh, cool. I feel like that's the thing. Like, like, like Final Fantasy gets like like the original has been remade a ton of times, and one of the and um, it's often made uh, less bullshit. In terms of difficulty, yeah. and <laughs> Fantasy Star One also needs that treatment. Yeah, no, it could definitely <laughs> use that. Like I did win it as a child, um, but also well, I well, you were uh, probably a much tougher child than I was. I also had a child's patience <laughs> for bullshit. Also, though, you get a, like one of your party members is a cat, so I had the animal companion thing also really early. No, one of the most like mind-blowing moments as a kid playing those games at the time that they were new was when you realized you could actually go to the different planets in Fantasy Star. Man. You could get a spaceship and like travel. That's like I imagine that's kind of a kid. Oh, neat. I mean, yeah, Final Fantasy. Oh, I love what they did with oh, this. Oh, that's so good. Um, yeah, switch back to the. Also, that sound effect is in there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is the one that really makes use of the stun lock yep. as part of its mechanics, because you don't get hurt by that, but you end up being pushed around. Oh man, look at the little anticipation it does before it goes down after it gets hit. Oh. Also look oh, at that eyeball. You have to... Oh my god. Yeah, what, what does this normal sprite look like? Is it oh yeah, it's still... Like, it's still a zombie. Yep. It actually is pretty evocative. Yeah. But there, you see that little pose it does before it dashes yeah. down? So good. Let's do, I want to do a hit this way so I can see the difference. So yeah, it just does the flash and yeah. it goes down. So to be fair, like, they couldn't have done this sort of background oh, yeah. stuff on that. Like, it, it would just be impossible because... There's um, a reason why everything is black. Yeah. It's... And they probably couldn't animate it very much either. Yeah. Um, oh, I love that pose it makes. Like, it's specifically because in order to do, um, like, um, big sprites moving like that, they have to actually make them part of the background. And what they do is they cheat by making it um, in a black background, so it's actually just a background scroll. Mm -hmm. Um. Sorry, I'm just... Loving that animation of it getting ready to uh, dive back down. Also, I'm having a much easier time with the bosses than uh, <laughs> last time we played. Hmm. So I did notice, like, one thing I noticed is that they added difficulty. Uh, yeah, so I don't know settings. if Cloud is the original. Yeah. It's... Or if it's just the fact that we recently <laughs> played the, most of the game. I think the level design here is, is like there's not much to speak about. It's not. There's like it's a, not 
Yeah. The level design's not super interesting, but I think the there's some really smart um, the way enemies are introduced is really yeah, thoughtful. Yeah, I think that's what's interesting about it. Um, it's something that you see even more of when you get to um, Monster World 4. Oh, damn it, I keep on... <laughs> yeah, it's really hard to... Also, not having it against a black background does make that bit harder to spot. Oh, okay, never mind. The Master System is that him. Channel, um, you actually couldn't do any of what I said. They, uh, uh they, they didn't. <laughs> it was a really early one, though. It's not as early, it's that it's primitive. Like, um, I actually can't imagine why that would be the case, just because, like, I know the, um, on the Genesis sound chip is just straight up, like, a Yamaha, um, like, they use it in yeah. keyboards, too. Like, you can buy a keyboard that uses that sound chip. And obviously being able to change what instrument you're playing is extremely yeah. important in... <laughs> well, probably the answer to that is they were trying to save money. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure, no matter what. That was... Oh my god. The fish form is... You want to show what the original looks like? It's not... Yeah. And that weird walk cycle. That walk cycle is so weird. I mean, this one's this one's a good weird. And that great turn. Yeah. Oh, oh interesting. Check out the, the jump is actually animated differently. Hmm. It doesn't have the foot switch. It has. Uh it doesn't in the uh in the, in the, in the Lizard Man form either. Um it did. Lizard Man had it went from one being the dominant foot to the other one as it went through. This one instead just has this sort of like flop oh. prepare. Hmm. Just a good example of how like you can animate the same thing differently to give different characters a different feel. Man, coming back to town has a good feel with that yeah. song. I'm just noticing the little speed, like there's a bit of speed distortion on the sword. Yeah! I feel like that's really good if you have something that has to come out in the first frame, right? Yeah, like, no, it's, it's all like... Like that means like it just feels like games it's are, coming up really fast. Games with snappy controls, you basically have to overemphasize everything after the action happens because you can't have that delay like you could in a traditional cartoon or something. Mm -hmm. uh, take the wheel. Stumble. Remember, there's a chest full of goodies um, once you fall down into the water, uh, if you head back. I don't remember how you get to that, so I'm just going to ignore it right now. Yeah, Lagrange Point, I would definitely recommend uh, looking at the soundtrack, and the game itself is, uh, it's an NES RPG, uh, with everything that entails. Okay, yeah, I'll, I'll go back and get that later. Oh, that swim is so weird. <laughs> it's kind of, I don't know, really impotent in the original, but this is just, it's just very silly. Just uh, talking about um, the Grange Point, which was uh, a, a 
Famicom RPG that just included its own FM synth uh, <laughs> chip inside. Apparently the same one actually, um, just the, the trick was that uh, they got to pick which what their fixed instruments were, so... <laughs> yeah, we can't break those yet. Yeah, we need the... Oh, you should see the swim, it's so weird. Oh yeah, no, it's super weird. <laughs> like... Weird merman. I feel like that's a good way of conveying this, like, really awkward... <laughs> flailing. <laughs> Oh, I never noticed that in the original, like, the, sh the shield just wiggles. Yeah. <laughs> She's really not having a great time there. Yeah, I do like that, like, a lot of the monster forms are really just... ...really awkward. bunch of stuff in the mouse area, but I don't know if it's time for us to shop for it yet. Right now we don't have money, so it's weird. Shoot. Oh, right. I have a boomerang. I should use that. Do they like the shopping pose of the fish? I haven't noticed. Yeah, they all are like, like sort of just like looking up at the, uh, the stuff surrounding them. I'm so curious what this team is going to do next. Yeah. Oh, that's great! Hmm. Yeah, where are we going now? We're going underwater that way towards. Oh, you've got to like go. Yeah, I missed the. the... Yeah. Down below. So remember, you're trying to get underneath. The yeah, ship. I'm trying to find the under the ship. Perfect way to end. Oh, that would absolutely be our luck. So you want to go that way? Uh, no. that way is just yeah, the door to the. Oh, okay. Yeah. That doesn't take you. It nope, that takes, takes you me up. into that building. Okay. Then I think it's around midway that we can get down there. I like all the shipwreck stuff here yeah. to sort of start to hint. No, there's not. It's above and around. You can see yeah. a bit of the entrance there. But that's the, uh, you need to be able to break the, uh, the box to get to that. Hmm. I think just keep exploring the water yep. areas until... Then keep going, and we'll eventually find a way down. I mean, I did go all the way down. I think. Let's try this stuff. Yep. No, that's 
bad. Yeah. We do need to get the... Receiving bracelet for sale. Oh, you know where we need to go, Polly. We're probably tough enough to do the desert area. Um, there is some stuff we can do now because we're a water person. Yeah. Yeah, I will say, like, the hub is a really interesting idea, but you often don't have an idea of where to go as a result. It's... it's yeah, up there. We can't do that yet, but I think there might be something we can get... here. Money, but I wanted a nice bracelet. Okay, so oh, we have Mouse Man. We can go up to the top area. Oh, we can't switch. Oh, we can't switch yet. Yeah, we oh, haven't unlocked we missed, that. We missed the chance to go there. Oh, it was expensive stuff, though, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it's okay. We can. Yeah, okay, I guess um, it's the desert. Going in the other direction. I think that's our only. Right at the edge of this. God damn it. Yeah, oh, they ones... gave it a separate name. That's really good. So you know that it's a different area from the res regular yeah. desert. I feel like that's a really good decision. If you need to, you can just run past these. can get stunlocked too, which is, but like, they ha they also have invincibility frames. So, um, like, if you hit that ogre repeatedly, it doesn't actually do damage after the first hit. It's similar in that way to, um, Secrets of Mana, and it's mm. part of why Secrets of Mana has the most interesting combat of a mana game, at least of a original mana game. I'm glad we have so many hearts. Yep. Yes. Yes. I definitely need that. Yeah, I think the... I think most of the enemies actually do have a lot of character in the original. For the but, time, like... Yeah. But the frogs are definitely, uh... The remake does them a lot of favors. Oh, oh no, 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 no. I don't think you want to try. Oh. oh fuck, how I far does it go? Oh. You really wanted to backtrack there. 
I didn't think it would go on so far. Fuck. No, that was a sequence that was really that was... designed for you to use your magic. Oh. Uh, that... Like, they definitely said certain bits were having the right spell. That fucking sucked. Watch out, this is one that's had this weird stuff sometimes. At least that happened. Small, fuck. Small mercy. No! no. <laughs> At least it's not instant death. Yeah. And soon it won't be a problem. I don't think you get that armor for a while. Uh, I think you get it part way through here, if I remember correctly. I think you get it here. Please do not boil fish. Oh, yeah. yeah Dragon yeah, mail. And we totally have the money. That's... Yeah, we may as well. Yeah, switch this to it. Automatically. That's good. I do like that it's um it's powerful armor now, but later on you have to choose between uh like you want something that's tough in fights or you want something that will yeah help you survive up. Yeah, once they go into jump mode, it's just, just like calm bony tits. Top hat skull oh. has no chill. Oh, they change the sprites on them. That one's head, yeah. Yeah, it warns you that it's gonna do it. Is that the, is that the same? I think there might be a subtle thing. Yeah, it's subtly offset. I did not notice that. Yeah. So yeah. Oh, that's way too subtle. Yeah, I did not notice that. Okay, well that's... Oh, that does not actually help. Okay, great, cool. I think it only would help if it happened to hit the head first. Okay, so go for the head first. Yeah. No, that doesn't work. <laughs> it really absolutely does not work. Oh, neat. All like bellows and stuff. Yeah. Okay, yeah, this is. Oh, wow. Wow. So it's all of the forms and statues. Oh my god, I love it. And then it's me, oh. Do I want a different form? Show what the original looks so people can see. Yeah. It's so like the one thing they keep is the, the colored blocks. Of it also areas. doesn't have like that big, uh, like a boom in it. It's just a, uh, so like a whoosh. Yeah. I guess correctly. Yeah, the right now the mouse is the only one that actually has an interesting uh, ability. Uh, the fish just lets you swim, and that seemed unlikely to be useful here. Yeah. yeah. And now we have. The oh bracelet. yeah. And they do some classic teaching here by forcing you to use yeah. it. Yeah, and that's in the original. Yeah. 
but... Dungeon was a lot of good, like... Yeah, now it's not an item, so, like, you can't equip it even yeah. if you wanted to. Oh, it's just a yeah. special... Thunder Ring. Yeah, that makes a lot more sense. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Sometimes the old school jank is still just there. <laughs> There's only so much you can do with animation. Yep. But now you can get a ton of stuff by breaking the stuff here. God, this is so good. Yeah, the art is just so, so good. And yeah, just and like... all the floating cubes. Just like that subtle, like, eerie noise. Yeah. Rather than... Yeah. And the retro is just silent. No, sound design, like, along with everything else, is so good. Um, you want to break those. Oh, right, of course. Yeah. can go and take yep. on the next. Yeah. Like, we could check and see if any of the nearby... Oh! And now that's open. Oh, so now we can... Yeah, yeah so if we wanted to check that mouse area and see what we could buy. Sure, why not? We can do a little bit of mouse shopping. So the ones that are above, we can't get until we get Lion, which gives us the ability to attack blocks below and above us. Yeah. Oh, that's really cute, like the, the wheels that go in yeah. the spiral. No, there's just so much to give things a sense of place and then to like link them. It's basically like the idea of the pirate ship yeah. spread throughout the entire thing. Yeah, I can't afford this shit. Yeah, no. <laughs> the whole little mouse looking up. <laughs> Something else this game does really well is it does colored lighting in 2D, which I see a lot of 2D games do now. Yeah. But it has a sense of, like, control over it. It's really subtle. Um, I feel yeah. like that. And that's the right way to use color lights. I feel like lights. that really helps. Um, like, it's the same stuff that happened with, like, early 3D and colored lights, where everyone's like, full saturation, colored lighting! Yeah, no, that's And actually, the good use of it is, like, very subtle shifts. Okay, that was all we needed, right? So let's yeah. go to the ship. But yeah, it's nice to see that level of restraint with colored lighting, because it can add a lot, but, like... I do just love, like, taking, like, inexplicable video game thing and turning it into, like, you know, this very magical sort yeah. of... Like, it still feels just as inexplicable. Uh, I think I'm at this point, spot in the game, should I stop watching? Depends on how much you care about spoilers in a platforming <laughs> game. Um, like, this is the second time we were playing through this entire game. Yeah. Well, we've played through right. a good chunk of it. Also, um, like, man, we played this, what, four months ago? Yeah. If even that, and I do not remember anything, basically. I don't understand how your memory of this shit is so good. It's because I grew up with it. <laughs> I spent, like, hours and hours and hours with this. Um, I couldn't... <laughs> I just feel like I could not tell you <laughs> how to navigate the levels in uh, the games that I grew up on. Oh, come on. Play Super Mario Brothers and think of all the places where you know to jump because it's a secret block. Or do you not have that? Um, I, I was... Oh, never mind that. Yeah. 
Like, I definitely don't remember where all the sequences are. Yeah. I, some things I get slightly confused by, like, where exactly the spot to get into this. Kind of curious if Squibble sends <laughs> video game places. Oh, wow! So, okay, just to explain Bomb Cat's statement, uh, have you played hard mode as the Wonder Boy in Monster Land style timer where you take damage every time the hourglass runs out? So, the game before this was an arcade action RPG. Possibly. Which is a, just a terrible idea, yeah. by the way. Because uh, the designer had played the Wizardry recently, <laughs> which is basically the reason for all J only JRPG conventions. I mean, uh, this series, like, jumps around in terms Oh, of hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so because of that, it did have this timer that would tick down and you'd lose health. Um, that's great that they, like, brought that in as a way to add hard mode. There's the, like, so yeah, this is, this, they've changed almost nothing about this, it's just... It like, just isn't that one that's showing up at the top. It's a different one. So you want to go down and get your heart yep. first. Um, the weird thing about the arcade one is that it actually has a side quest, like a linked series of side quests. Wait, go down? Yeah, you want to go down and... Uh, down into that area and across. Oh, is this that's not... where you get the hug. Oh, I think they fucked up by making this like look the same as where you come from. Distortion as well as. Yeah, look, you're like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's a really subtle one, and then a more dramatic one on the background behind it. Nice. Wow, yeah. Like, now, there's a really good sense of restraint with effects in this um, that I wish I'd see in more things that were doing like 2D non pixel art. It makes such a big difference, though. Like, I feel like that's so important that like they don't actually care if you notice it, just that it has the effect on yeah. you. Yeah. Ooh. Oh wow. Liking this potion. Yeah. This this yeah, like it's just straight normal. Also, f you'll see fish swim past the portals. Oh my god. Oh. That's good. And yeah, no, they they've got parallax on them and wow. Switch yeah, to the I... other, the... Yeah, it's as usual. Yep. So yeah, good. Yeah, no, that makes such a big difference. Like, I still think it's the case that, like, none of these are, like, super memorable. Like, they're, they're, they're... I feel like none of these melodies are, like, anything that I'm gonna have stuck in my head, which is, you know... Not the case with Monster World 4. Yeah. But, like, this shows that you can still do a lot with that. Oh, they've slowed down the main melody so much. Yeah, I don't know how they're actually um, doing that with the, uh, like, like, because you can switch between, uh, the, uh, uh, like, 
it does remember your place. Like, yeah. like it's, it's, so I don't actually know how they're doing that with the tempo changes. It's, like, that's actually pretty impressive. Sure. Oh. Sure. Sure. Zero chance of getting a drop between now and the uh, the boss. Drop of of a, a new potion. Oh yeah. I mean, not not a high one. Saying they buy a new monster world for in a heartbeat. I don't know. I feel like it doesn't need it. Yeah, the sprite work is so good in that game. It has so much character. Um, well, like, I, I just feel like, um, uh, yes, in the original, the magic potions randomize how much they healed. I think in this, they're just doing full health, which is good because that was a deeply stupid mechanic. Yeah, no. Like, it does not add anything other than... It adds bad, bad RNG. Yeah. Bad, non-interesting RNG. Like, I think in general, like, a lot of the RNG, like, in these drops is just add texture, like... You'll farm at a roughly the same rate, no matter what. It's just, like... Yeah, not randomness. knowing how good your potions are. Yeah. Like, that just fucks you over in boss fights. Which is not interesting. Because you spent all this time getting to them. Yeah, I, I feel like, like, doing, like, a remake of, of this game, like, adds a lot. Like, the original is... I don't know, it's kind of rough. I don't know if I'd actually recommend playing the original. Like, even after playing it, like, I thought it was really interesting, but not necessarily that fun as a game. Whereas this adds a lot to it. And I feel like Monster World 4 do doesn't need that. Sure, sure, sure. Monster World 4 just has some... Oh. Don't worry about it. Yeah, no, I know. Um, I was like, okay. no. well, Oof. <laughs> <laughs> confused. Visit the pig. Someone in chat is asking about uh, Monster World chronology. Uh, it's complicated. Hardcore Gaming 101 has the best um, explanation of it. Um, Basically. When I'm not playing, I can go through it because I've now memorized it pretty much. I might get the name slightly wrong. So just see if there's a hint for us to get any better equipment or anything. <laughs> <laughs> okay then. Chuck. Um, I'm gonna check one other place for uh, possible upgrades. There's two places I can think of this to visit. Uh, do we want a hint? Um, sure. Since it's probably just gonna be go here to do some shopping. Uh, oh yeah, there's down here also. We can now get down to this area. Oh, right, yeah, you can do it as the mouse. It was the other place I was thinking that yeah, you can't. Yeah, so get what we can get here. I love the snappiness of this without any Yeah, that one is that you can't. 
on this walk cycle. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Can you um, go into a little more detail as to what's going on in, in the walk cycle? Um, yeah. Is that better than what we have right now? Oh, oh nice, I've got an inventory yeah, thing, so we can just, check. Um, probably, wow, we didn't... Yeah, yeah. definitely. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh! I think... There's some sort of charm, then. Yeah. Well, I remember that there was a, that there was a piece of armor that had a charm property. Like, it was just, like, yeah. special. Oh, what's the deal here? Oh, okay, I can't reach that yet. Oh, the yeah. The deal is that... I went down the wall. Hole. Yep. I'm gonna check one other area. Oh, I, there's some things about that, but it's spoilery apparently with the no charm, no sale. Capture. Oh, I want to Yeah, this. I was wondering if it's linked to that. What does our defense with our current. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's actually nice <laughs> and modern. Oops. Well. <laughs> well, hopefully that was better than what we had. A little bit better, not much. Well, we'll go with what we got now. There's also the, oops, the uh, space in the jungle. Uh, there's another shop in the jungle, a little bit oh, farther right, along. Right. Um, so yeah, the animation, what I'm talking about is that, um, what if I can get to a bit where we can change? So then I can show it by demonstrating. So I think this one has a pretty normal walk cycle. So you can see yeah. here, it pretty much takes about the same amount of time for it to go from like one angle of the head tone to the other angle of the head tone. They're not doing a bunch in, of like weird timing stuff with it. It's pretty consistent. Um, and with this one, also pretty consistent going back and forth. Mouse. Look at the head tone. It's like really snappy. It's mostly like one pose or the other and then like doing stuff around that, follow through, easing. Um, so it gives it some really neat snappy feel to the movement. That effect is almost exactly the same. The uh, smashing blocks. Oh, yeah. They just add a little bit of uh, rotation on them. I can't 
feel like the death animations like really capture like why this animation style really works for uh, this game. Like it's just like such a like even in the original it's like a little bit cartoony. You could just only do so much with that. Yeah. Like I feel like it feels very consistent with that sort of thing. If you want to play through a little bit of this bit, I'll explain the Wonder Boy chronology as best as I can. Oh boy. Okay, so, um, first game is Wonder Boy. No Monster Land at that time, just Wonder Boy. Um, and it was a side-scrolling game, originally for the arcade. Um, very sort of momentum-based in terms of, like, it's all about going forward. Um, less exploratory than Mario. Um, and less Extremely intricate not exploratory. Yeah. Like, I feel like it, it has more in common with, like, um, like a modern, uh, you know, run and jump game. Yeah, like, well, it was literally, at one point, almost an infinite runner before infinite runner yeah, was worth it. Um, like, that was what, um, the designer originally wanted to do, and it just wasn't working at the time. Probably partially just because people weren't skilled enough yet <laughs> <laughs> uh, to do that type of thing. Uh, the time pressure was a bit much for players at the time. Um, but it actually had, it kept a little bit of that because you'd write a skateboard, which does not make a return, I think, in any of the other uh, Monster uh, Wonder Boy games. Second one is still an arcade game, but an RPG, and that's Monster World 1 Wonder and Boy. And also, 2. you probably know Wonder Boy 1 as Adventure Island. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, a lot of these got remakes with reskins in different regions um, and on different hardware. So, yeah, Adventure Island is a reskin of Wonder Boy um, on the NES. Um, Wonder Boy 2. So, yeah, Wonder Boy 2 is Monster World 1. Or is it Monster Land 1? I think it's Monster World. No. No, Land. Land. Um, still an arcade game, but basically no relationship other than some enemies coming across. That is the weird um, thing. Like, the enemies are... The most consistent thing yeah. <laughs> about the games. So still a side-scroller, but it's like more like this, where you're using a sword. But it's also um, like very RPG, like like way more than this. Yeah, it's a lot more about getting um, the right equipment. And mostly about knowing up. secrets. Yeah, tons and tons of like secrets that you'd have no idea other than through replaying. Um, And so this is the first one that was not an arcade game. Um, Wait, did this come first or did the other? I think this came first. I'm unclear. <laughs> so this is where, where there's actually two different uh, Wonder Boy threes, um, both made by the same character, by the same designer. Um, so this is the first console one, um, Dragon's Trap. Um, I'm trying to remember what the other Wonder Boy 3 is called. It's. I want to say Monster's Lair? Yes, that's yeah. correct. Um, and it is an auto scrolling like, side scroll. Dragon's Lair? No, that's not it. <laughs> it's it another is thing. a. Um, <laughs> that's something very different. A auto side scrolling one, and also a bit of a shmup in the. Yeah, no, it's a shmup. Like yeah, it's just a, just a weird <laughs> platforming. Like it's still like auto scrolls. And... Yeah, it auto scrolls. All of your weapons are projectile, um, and it's two player co op. Um, it 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 I. Uh... 
And this isn't a case like a lot of like um, NES games with this a weird split like that. It's not like a different developer. It's not um, a like different region getting a different sequel. He just made two threes. Not uh, confusing at all. Yeah. And that one's still called Wonder Boy 3, right? Yeah. Um, this one is Wonder Boy 3 Dragon... I, th I think also the numbering is slightly different in Japan. Um, right. To, of course, make things more confusing. Um, uh, but still not as confusing as they are in Brazil, <laughs> where they all cla have classic Brazilian cartoon characters who are from a modern day world, so it's a very weird, it's Monica, which I would have been aware of at the time, but probably most of the people on the stream wouldn't. I don't think Monica's super well known outside of Brazil. <laughs> Okay, so we're up to three. <laughs> um, okay. So next you get... Um, I think at this point they kind of drop the Wonder Boy thing for the main titles, but the next one still is considered to be Wonder Boy. Oh, at least you're doing good damage. Oh my god, the screen's rotating! Ah! Oh! <laughs> Whenever he, uh... Yeah. He stomps on the edge of the... Oh, I goofed. I'm not gonna make it. Ugh! Oh. Go get, yeah, go that way, good, so we can get potions. Yeah, and I'll go mouse man. Uh, I always forget which one it is I go through. Um, so yeah, the next one is Wonder, uh, Wonder Boy 4. Nope. Monster Land 3. Oh, yes. Um... <laughs> Which um, is the only one not made by the original designer. Oh, whoops, wrong character type. Uh, I mean, it is still Westone, right? It's just not. Yeah. Wait. Was that something I could always do? I don't know. I can't remember. I guess so, because I, I can't see them changing that. Yeah. Jump yeah, up you there. can't yeah. actually make it up there without the. Uh... Um, Wonder Boy Five, Monster Land Three, apparently. But yeah, not okay. I guess if you double count the uh, the two threes, 
Yeah, sure. Um, sure, why not? <sighs> Sorry, I'm just gonna love that statue again. It's Loving really good. that statue. Um, and I think the unfortunate thing with that one is it really leans in hard on the uh, the bad parts of two being really number based. So like it has terrible game feel at the beginning. Yeah. Um, also, that that ocarina puzzle is some goddamn bullshit. Just some terrible, terrible timing on that. Oh, wait, chests we fill. If I remember correctly, or do you? Yep, they, they do. Oh, they, in the original game, they only refilled if you re entered the password. Yeah, but um, I don't believe that's the case. Oh! I guess they kept that. Um, I don't know if that was. Uh, that might have been a harder right key, though. So it's the one I've played the least of, so maybe it gets a lot better, but. It feels like a step backwards from this point. It doesn't have the transforming. It does bring companions in, which becomes important. Yeah. Um, and it brings in like the spirits. There's lots of stuff that gets called back. Um, okay, it's still, you have to quit the game and start it up again. So these don't seem that great. Yeah, no, um, no, they're not better. I like go grind for her. Yeah. Get some potions and grind for magic. Oh, that was actually the thing that fucked me over in the, uh, in the, in the ship, was I didn't have magic. Is the magic useful enough in that situation? Uh, yes. It would have been extremely good to have a tornado. Mm -hmm. Oh, in the dungeon. Not in the boss fight. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just taking a lot of damage before we even got to it. But yeah, I do feel like, um, uh, Monster Land 3, uh, I don't know, like, in terms of I game feel- I think at that point it's world. I think. It... <laughs> I hate everything. Uh, the point is, like, I feel like that game, like, I do feel like it has better game feel than this, honestly. Like, uh, I, I don't know. I don't, I don't like how the original of this feels like. It, I feel like it had, like, you were even slower. Oh, you're definitely slow. Like, I don't, I don't like that aspect, but it is, I, I do feel like it feels better. Yeah, I don't know. It's just that they're leaning more heavily into the numbers-based thing, so it's like... You just start out feeling absolutely terrible. Like, you're slow to move. Yeah, right, you have to upgrade, yeah. It's, you're like, still super slippery while being slow. But I don't feel like it, it, it's... I'm not gonna be boring, yeah. Nope, nope. I'm gonna go back and get a boomerang. Yeah, I don't feel like it's bad, but then, um... Then there's Monster World 4, which was... It's fucking amazing. Just incredible. Like, I feel like that, like, absolutely holds up. It is, um, a lot of very modern feeling, uh, design. That was not a boomerang. Yeah, I, I realize that. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was probably my favorite game I played last year. And I played it twice. <laughs> yeah, one of the annoying things in, uh, Monster World 3 is, uh, um... Your, your 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 movement speed and jump are controlled by your equipment so like <laughs> you start off incredibly sluggish and have to upgrade it's that that's definitely an extremely frustrating thing but yeah monster World 4 is like gorgeous um the combat's feels, really smart and interesting just like um feels the great the level design's really interesting each world like introduces a whole bunch of like unique actions and um, like unique character animations. You have a super cute, cute hat. Character animations are also cute. Um, it's the first one where you play as a girl um, with a really cute hat. 
It's just, it's just all good. And actually has like, there's an arc to the story that's to a larger extent than this has. It's, I really, really like it. And I, I feel like, like it doesn't need like any sort of remake. Like I don't feel like it would improve on it. Like I feel like that's like you're hitting diminishing returns. Or is this like really benefits yeah, like, from having a... Uh... It has like okay pixel art, not like some of the best pixel art of its generation. Oh, right. Player 2 in Monster Lair is, is also a girl. So. That's true. Yeah. So the first Wonder Girl. So to keep things confusing, there's this remake. There's a new... <laughs> a new Wonder Boy of the, like, official Wonder Boy that branches from the original one. That's like, I think made by a Chinese company as a mobile game. Right. And then there's Monster Boy, which is a spiritual successor. Um, I think everything other than the mobile game has had at least some input from the original creator. Um. <laughs> Whose name I'm really bad at remembering and I feel bad about. Remember how much money we need to make? Uh, 1600. Okay. Pretty close. Yeah, no, Monster Boy is looking really good. It, I like the art style in this more. Um, as I said, this is like, I feel like one of the most, the best looking uh, 2D platformers I've ever seen. It's a very high bar. I'll probably just farm this area till we get the money we need and also just get as much magic as possible. Oh, we also want to buy potions, though, right? Uh, yes, definitely. Wait, this fan art of you staring down Seaman? <laughs> Sorry folks, just gonna do some farming. Okay. Uh, Ryuichi Nishizawa, who is the West in West Stone. Okay. So you know, Mr. West and Mr. Stone. Yeah. The history of West Stone is pretty interesting. Um, you can find there's a good interview on Hardcore Gaming 101, and then there's a book called, oh, what is it? It's like Untold Secrets of Japanese Video Games or something like that. I'm sure if you Google for that, you'll find the actual correct <laughs> title. Um, that has a whole bit with interviewing a whole bunch of the staff at West Stone and going through their entire history. I um, The interview with the woman who did the pixel art for... Uh, Monster World 4 is not long enough <laughs> um, and does not go into sufficient detail. Oh, her, in her work process. is so good. This is an aspect of the game that's perhaps not aged well. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, 
Oh, could be a lot worse. Also, not something that has left um, modern video games. I feel like, I don't know, I feel like Gans is a little gone less grindy. I don't know, I'm in the middle of Persona 5, so... Is Persona still grindy? Um, well, just, there's, your time is so valuable that, um... You yes, I of, agree, and that's why I'm not playing a 150-hour game right now. Your time <laughs> in the game is also so valuable. Um, is that like a new form of ludonarrative dissonance? <laughs> um, that any time you go into like memento, so anything else, you want to basically spend as much time there as possible and get as much out of it as possible. Uh -huh. um, oh. Before you... No, 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 no! no. no. <laughs> before you head back... Um, because you want to have a snack. I feel like one of the, like... Not to bring Final Fantasy into every single JRPG conversation, but I feel like 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 those games have really like gone less grindy uh, as time goes on. Like, they saying, really figured it out. The good thing is that you do not grind in Persona to be able to beat a boss. I never have done that. In That's Persona good. 5. There's been none of that. There's just been the, like, I really want to commit as much time to this dungeon in a single day as possible. So I can spend as much okay, time. Okay, this is a good place to grind magic against him, but it's not good for Wait, money. Not good for money, okay. Anyone in the chat know where the best place to grind for money is? I think just get a bunch of magic and just head back to the... I can take the fast travel back and then... Well, I just mean, like, we definitely want to grind for, for, for magic here. We need more magic? Sure. Uh, how are you doing for a tornado? Uh, yeah, not I super keep going. We have access to the lucky sword. Where is it? Where I do don't I... actually know. Is it up in the top area? Remember, we're here for magic. Huh? Yeah. Um, if people can tell us where the magic, the lucky <laughs> yeah. sword is, it's been too long. Sure. And we'd rather waste less of the stream's time on this and more on new stuff. I feel like you could probably just take an attempt on the dungeon again. Yeah. We're not doing especially bad here. I'm just wondering where they- Oh, I know where the lucky sword is. I think. I'll fast travel back. Yeah, I was gonna say. I was in the sewer. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. It's- it's- now that we can smash blocks. Last time where there was Water Guy, we couldn't do anything with that. But now that's totally an option. Such good sound design. Okay. Time to change form. What's the chat saying? Oh, right, I remember now. This bit? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't have enough money. Oh, wait. Also, in our inventory, do we have... Oh, hmm. it's not actually as good as the Night Shield. Hmm. I'm surprised by that. Hmm. Yeah, I know you 
can smash these blocks. Just little look around when he idles the crabs. Yeah, I should go somewhere else to grind. You're doing okay against the snakes, actually. You're dropping like five per. Yeah, yeah, snakes are the way to go. That's a really wide range. By things? Uh, your armor have... might be really good. Oh, yeah. Remember, you actually have a lot of granularity on those um, parts. Yeah. Like, I think in the original it's just straight yeah, up like pixel. Yeah. How much did I get for that? Nine. But, like, the RNG is such a wide range. Like, you, you were going from like 1 to 13 on uh, the, yeah. the, the, the snakes. hearts than they take that yep. <laughs> just running through them actually heals me. I just keep going with the rocks. I guess we didn't do a lot of co coming back here when we played last we didn't realize how much better our equipment had gotten. <laughs> yeah. How much do we need for Lucky Sword? Uh, I don't know, it's doing something. something. And maybe bring out the baby to just to sure. This is gonna be a really uncomfortable place for a frog. Desert frog. No, there's like desert toads, I think. Aren't there desert frogs? Miguel, if there's sunflowers that shoot fire, I'm pretty sure there are. Okay, it was 310. We're good. What's the forward parallax they do? these areas. Yeah. It's really good. Yeah, I do feel like that's like an advantage they have with like the ground being so high up on the screen. Yeah. And not having the super complex um, world stuff in those areas. Yeah. Um, 
get a lucky sword. I really hope this game is up for some awards for its uh, yeah. art direction. When that season rolls around again. Lucky sword. <laughs> saying in the chat? Uh, comparing it to a Shishante. Oh. That has that, like, 2.5D. Yeah, 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 and he was saying, yeah, like, it doesn't look It's also like it's the opposite of what this does. It makes, if anything, it be, what I've seen of it, the environments look more generic than the older games. They definitely do. Is it a 3D? Usage, whereas this, like, there's a ton of, like, pretty unique chunks of art that they can throw in, their key spots, to make it feel... Yeah, but at the same time, like, they're not, like, it's not that these backgrounds are complicated. Like, look at this. This is, this is very, actually, pretty simple. Like, they're, they're, they're just doing a lot of, um, like... Layers. Yeah. Like, there's a cloud layer, there's the, like, godlike ray layer. Fishy layer. And like, you know, like the seaweed and the and yeah. plants and such. Like, that's all just single elements. I like that they kept the, the clam, yeah. the useless clams yep. are just a thing from the. <laughs> slows down your descent so you get this like weird like <laughs> choosing when to attack to like adjust your fall. Yeah, but it's also like really good for hitting things in midair. Like yeah. it makes it feel like you're not completely out of control. It's like a Healy lady the other way or something or something there, but don't need it now. Do you feel like like a lot of the effects like the parallax or like the water distortion? These are all things that are actually like incredibly cheap. Like they don't have that like they don't require like a lot of assets. It's just you put them like just back. Yeah, no, the thing that can be is like putting in lots of parallax can be tricky um, on lower end cards because 3D isn't really made to like deal with heavy fill rates, and this type of stuff can generate that. From what I remember from Andrew explaining stuff when we were doing Big Pixels, because we have a ridiculous number of parallax layers yeah. in some of those levels. How many? Like, there's like 12 on some of them, like... That's... that's a lot. Um, and yeah, like, what you end up running into is stuff where cards are made to do 3D fast, they aren't necessarily made to do 2D fast. Um, but like a lot of these layers are added in which are cheaper. And I don't know if they're actually like hitting 12. Yeah, they might be on some of the ones with a ton of parallax. The desert ones had a lot. The desert one, the field actually had quite a lot. Yeah. Um, but also a lot of those weren't doing it full screen. It's pretty easy to like. Yeah. It's the big full screen. Yeah. No. No. Stuff not, that's. Yeah. Uh, it's not 
it's all just like it's more costly. And those tend to be, it looks like they're most of those are additive, like the, the rays of light and stuff. If you want to explain that, um, I think I'm going to know. Oh, yeah. There. Basically, additive, they're taking the RG and. Oh, yeah, these are. I forgot. <laughs> um, they're taking the red, green, and blue values and just adding them together so you always move towards white. Um, so it's good for things like lighting effects. Um, but it's always Whereas going to Whereas you wouldn't use that type of blending style for like, drawing something on top of another thing. Yeah. Like, you don't want to use that for something, uh... There's no way to do additive and not have it look semi-transparent. Other than doing full additive where it looks white. Um, and it often requires, like, the values that look good are really unintuitive, so often, like, very slightly tinted. Which is why so many things look terrible when they do 2D lighting. Because they don't know how subtle they can be. Um, an example of this actually in the thing that we were working on, um, somebody can dig up the video of the Ouija board um, game thing that Christine posted a video of, I guess, last week. Yeah, last week, and you'll see more of it in two weeks. Yeah. Um, if you look at the lens in it, that's using additive blending. Um, to give it sort of a cool tinted effect. Um, but if you look at the actual like key art for that without any blending on it, it just looks like it's this like muddy, reddy gray color. Because the color effects really get exaggerated and like the lightning effects. Yeah, and chat Andy's just talking about uh, window blinded uh, parallax, which is um, uh, specifically when you're just um, um, like changing the rate that each um, each row scrolls at. So um, if you're just like breaking things into like like um, um, horizontal lines, you can change the way that the rate that they scroll at and have a similar effect. And that was done a lot in like old yeah. games. I don't know if any modern games do that or not. Um, yeah, there's some crazy. I know I've seen some stuff having to do with I think either the Neo Geo Pocket Color or the Wonder Swan doing some stuff with that. That's just like absolutely nuts. Because the hardware is just so limited on those things. So. Whenever people get any sort of scrolling effect or anything like that in, it usually involves some, like, insane math tricks and, like, really deep knowledge of how the hardware works. But yeah, it's possible that stuff that's happening on, like, um, the field or, like, um, of the desert. Where it's, like, um, yeah. not, not the background elements, but the foreground ones. Yeah. Yeah, I forgot we figured out like the exact yep. distance for these at one point. If you can knock them back into the pit, is what we And then just stay still and you'll be. Yeah. And then wait for them to jump in the hand again. These bits you get like. Yeah, I hate these fuckers. It's good. Like, you just get such a good rhythm and it feels so much better in this. Where you don't have like that really like slidey uh. Yeah. Like, I think in the original it actually feels kind of frustrating, but in this it's just so satisfying when you pull off that back and back. Well, the uh, funny blocking. thing is... Uh, okay, you do not sure. want to be there. Oh, you're right. That's the worst place sure. you could be in. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> no, nope, useless! Oh, shit, I should have... Ah, oh, it doesn't even heal you. Sure. God damn it. Yeah. Shit. Okay, so that place is not where you want to yeah. be. You just leave me? Okay. See ya. Bye. <laughs> oh, fuck off. Well, we 
we were doing okay. And then everything was bad. So there's actually like, there's a hole even in the 2D one where you're vulnerable after attacking. So that's like the cost of attacking. In this, they use that for a bit of that follow through animation. Yeah. To help justify it. Shit. Oh. Huh. Did they change that? I don't think so. No, because, like, before you couldn't, um, kill them that way. Is this the boss? Yeah. Okay, wish me luck, everyone. You can do it. Oh, two puffs. that would be a good moment. I forgot about my magic a lot there. <laughs> That's why you were... <laughs> well, yeah. Love that intro. It's really good. I'm sorry if I fuck this up. I was a bit too relaxed in the dungeon. Also, I do not know the timing for this guy. Uh, noticing. <laughs> I can't remember which of us beat this one. I think it may have been you. <laughs> it's actually one of the easier ones. Shit. Scratch my nose, got hit. Took a screenshot! Okay, that was not the correct button. Yeah, no, I know. The same spot, four points. Oh, I do not got this chat. I'm sorry. Bad. Oh, no, I went in there too relaxed. That fucking sucked. I want to get some magic. Also, if you can get 600 gold, you can get the better armor. Oh. 
feel like last time we managed to, like, just pull through some of those. Wait, this wasn't where I wanted to go, damn it. I goofed. Doesn't matter what you go in with you. You will expand or contract to die at one hit remaining. <laughs> Apparently. I think I'll... I think I'll get it. I was doing pretty okay against it. Yeah. No, I just I yeah, you didn't, have didn't know it, the timing, have timing for it, down. and it took a while to get it. Yeah. Why oh, unless it's a graveyard, also? Yeah. Oh wow. So it looks like this is not doing the thing that. Andy was talking about. Uh, um, because oh I yeah, can no, see you can, yeah, a you can see. Edge. Yep, you can see that um, there, there's um. Oh, reminds me of some of the fields of wheat in Muramasa. Mmm, um, man, that's a gorgeous game. That isn't actually fun to play in anyway. Yeah, no, this is a better game. <laughs> Straight up. No question. Um. And the main character sprites in this are better animated because they're full, proper 2D animation, not paper doll. Animated. Paper doll animated is when you break it up into pieces and animate the pieces. You can do some really great stuff with that, but it's never going to be as flexible as um, hand drawing everything the way they've done this. the name of the fantasy one that uh, they made? Wait, they made multiple. The yeah. one that is like Western fantasy, not uh, like oh, um, not Nordic and uh, not. Uh, no, I can't remember. It was like a four-player four. Player four player. Yeah, some no, I know. Really, really that. inventive boss ideas that unfortunately are like ruined by the fact that the core gameplay just doesn't feel that great and isn't that tactical feeling because the sprites are so large, etc. I haven't, et haven't played that one. Um, I should do that sometime. Yeah, no, I played a good chunk of it. Um, I think it was two other times you have the country, or just like you happen to not be here when we're doing yeah. some multiplayer gaming. Um, this is some amazing boss fight um, where it's basically like a um, Alibaba and the 40 Thieves type thing. Um, there's a genie, um, and a whole bunch of thieves. And the genie can be held by you or by the thieves. So you're fighting over this genie lamp, and whoever holds it gets a genie that's attacking everyone else. Oh, that's good. It's so good. Dragon's a, crown. Yeah, so good as a concept, but, like, the fact that, like, it's a lot of, like... <laughs> attacks you can't get out of, and a lot of really loud sprites casting magic that fills the whole screen. Um, I can never really tell with their games whether they want it to be about the the numbers or whether they want it to be about the action. Mm. Um, yeah, I feel that. Because the action stuff's really complex. It's like full of all sorts of like, you can go from this move into that move, and these frames like can't be gone gone out of, etc. And, like, Muramasa is, like, really designed to be played on, like, a one-hit kill mode. Which... No thanks. I, I, no, absolutely not. Um, Fuck that. That game's too hard already for me. <laughs> really? I feel like the problem with the one-hit kill mode is that you just kill by, get some, kill by some bullshit bombs. Like, 
it's always that. It, it's like the last thing it, I it makes was... it makes the sword combat interesting, and then you yeah. just get fucked up by bombs. Yeah. The uh, the last time I played it was some of the DLC. It was the cat DLC? Oh, yeah. which, oh my god, the artwork is so good, and the Tanuki boss. Ugh. Um. I mean, you know what a vanilla bar is actually unambiguously good at? It's food. Like, why the fuck haven't they just made a cooking game? Yeah, no. The, that's the game I think we all really want to play by vanilla bar, is the cooking game. Just, 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 just stop pretending that any of this is fun and make me a game where there's a reason to eat stuff. I did actually really like, of all the ones, I haven't played through all of it, but, um... The first one that sort of came out here, um... Odin Sphere. Odin Sphere. Um, not because the action was fun, <laughs> but because actually the, uh, the way that all the different planting and, um, potion making and such worked within a mm. boss fight was really interesting. I had a really good economy that was, like, fun to, like, figure out, like, okay, how the hell am I gonna survive this? I guess I'm gonna plant this and feed it with the souls of the dead until I get a mango, eat the mango, plant its seed. Um... Come on, why are you giving me fireballs? Fuck fireballs, I need tornadoes. Yeah, I feel like that's the best of the ones I've played of theirs, because mm. I felt like the, uh, the number of stuff was actually interesting, whereas they sort of have... They dumbed down yeah. the number of stuff in the economy um, in later games, and their poor beat em up stuff. It's a beat em up, it's good. It's a beat em up. But, like, um, it has the problems inherent in the, in the genre. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm. Whatever, it's fine. Yeah, no, Vanilla Ware, their backgrounds are amazing. The sprite art's really nice, but it, it's, it's kind of like the best you can do with, um, with paper doll style stuff. Um, and it does mean that they can do, like, crazy painted characters, which would be, like, ridiculously expensive to do this, like, fully, mm -hmm. fully traditionally animated. Yeah. All games should kind of have a restart at the boss option. I definitely agree. This I am like... really liking that about Persona 5. <laughs> um, especially given how puzzly the bosses in that are. Like, dying and kind of figuring out the boss is part of the process. I mean, I do feel like in this case, um, like, a lot of difficulty comes from, like, Get to the boss in a good state. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. No, like this is not. But I don't know if that's a bosses. like I don't know if that's a great way of going about it or not. It's just that like if they made that decision, it would definitely um I think it would probably make the bosses too easy. Yeah, no, they would have had to come up with more complex bosses, and there's only so much you can do with this combat system. Um, there's like, a lot more they could do once they get to Wonder Boy. Uh, uh, Wonder Girl. <laughs> Monster uh, World 4. Monster World 4. Um, no, like, I do think, like, like, at, like the actual boss, like, isn't that... Well, Miguel was having trouble, but I don't think the actual boss is that hard. But, what, but like, my problem is that, like, I'm actually not that good against a lot of the enemies that it, that's leading up to. So you really, like, have to, like, master, like, all of that rather than just, like, one boss pattern. And I think... That means, like, I can't just muddle my way through the, uh, the enemies, and it'll be okay, because I can just throw myself against the boss repeatedly. It really does turn into, like, you have to be good at the whole section. Yeah. The stun lock also does definitely make, I feel like, these bosses harder, because you get so thrown out of your loop if you get hit. It definitely, yeah. Um, because you're waiting so long to, uh... I don't like that you can get stun locked against walls. I feel like that's just straight up, like, that's a mistake. 
position, like, that's a bad position to be in. Like, like you don't get damaged during it, but it does just, like, your whole sense of, like, how you're doing. Yeah. Um. Oh, yeah, if you do... You can get some good stuff by going in as mouse person underground early. Um, but it yeah, is Yeah, but the enemies are hard. so hard. Yeah. That is like a sequence break. you instantly turn around rather than sometimes having the um, the animation of turning around which is ambiguous about the fact that your shield is up. Hmm. Maybe but I feel like like the fact that it's really satisfying when you pull it off and like makes oh, it yeah. worth it. It definitely looks it, Yeah, well, I just feel like it, it feels bad and Yeah. For that one enemy, it was one yeah. thing, just with a, a pitch shift randomizer. I think for the ghost, I was hearing uh, like two actual different. Uh... Oh, I feel like that one's misplaced. Like I don't know how you're supposed to get over that without taking damage. I think. Like I think the hitbox is a little bit smaller than you thought it was. Maybe. Like I've definitely done it. I just don't yeah. feel like I can do it. Yeah. But yeah, that's what I mean about like the lead into the bosses. Yeah, no. Much more of the challenge than the boss. Sword is used to get Hawkman or even Human only with you ought to be able to. Yep. Mm. There's um Yeah, there, there's a weapon you can get that um just lets you change forms when you use it. I'm not sure. So there's also some way to start the game as um Oh fuck, fuck, oh, no. fucked up. Oh, right, I can't leave. I can't. Oh, no. I can't. That's oh, an edge of the screen. that was rough. Yep, it really was. There's some sort of... This is the place to be. ...code you could input to be human from the start that a friend found, like, by mistake. Um, <sighs> when I had fine. this on the master it's system. Fine. And we stupidly did not go and get immediately get a save code. We instead restarted and tried to figure out what he did. And never figured it out again. <laughs> Um, the fishman does do this slide, it depends on how fast you're going. Basically, you need to be going fast enough that there'd be a bit of, um, slipperiness, and when there's enough slipperiness to justify doing the slide, they put the slide animation in. So just walk a little bit in tone. Yeah. As soon as you're fast enough that there'd be a slide, and if you switch to retro mode and do the same thing. So basically, it's just... Man, that walk cycle fucking sucks. Yeah, no, it's terrible. <laughs> <laughs> um, tornado spell, remember? Yep, yeah. yep. 
generally more chance of getting a potion in that last area. That's possible. I feel like it's happened had a lot. Yeah. yeah. I don't remember that being the case also. Every other enemy in this game, uh, the bosses are really just all about finding the pattern, and they can't have like have the environment mix it up because there is no environment. So yeah, they do end up being fairly straightforward once you have it nailed. I love that little touch though of him like rotating. The That's stage. so good. <sighs> I was dodging. We are bad at money. Did you know it was possible to make the screen part new graphics, part retro graphics? Yeah, we did that earlier. you like immediately like what is the line about having a really fucking big sword yeah so now what's the attack look like then go up from there oh nice has a little like it still has the, yeah <laughs> man like, i don't go back to the yeah. other one there's a nice bit with the feet lift up at the end to also like <laughs> emphasize the weight yeah that's good do a few jumps where you've got some space. See, that has some of the foot switch. Ah, uh, I see what you mean. You can actually see the character doesn't move quite as fast as it should 
for that jump animation to work, there's actually a little bit of an error where you can see the foot penetrate the ground. Yeah. Um, it's sword too, which I think is a... Money, did you get a hug? Uh, is that where you get a hug, or is it? I think that's where you get a hug. Did you get a hug in there? Where do you get the other trick? Oh, it's here, right? There's still a thing for us to do with the um, mouse in this area at some point. I don't think we need to do the mouse bit yet. Oh, I like the giant mushroom theming for this. Let's this see that original. Yeah. Rocky Cave, which is. Yeah. Yeah. I really don't like the. I feel like that's the thing. This game had like they're they're showing off a lot of bright colors and they're not actually good colors. Like I, I feel like there's just like a lot of really bad cho color choices in the original. Yeah, there were definitely. Is, like this is gorgeous. This is way too saturated. Yeah, I don't think it looked quite as bad on a CRT, but like. Well, that's um. in the jungle. Um, it's either in the jungle or the... Yeah, it's the jungle itself. It's one of the ones in that direction. <laughs> Seeing that makes me actually kind of want to see them, uh, it's not a good enough game to deserve it, but to see them do Wonder Boy 2. Um, um but you're just going for money right now. Yeah. Yeah, I'm always going magic. That's true. Um, 
I feel like what was he gonna have to backtrack without beating the boss? Uh, no, because you keep your money. Oh, yeah. Thing. I don't know. I can't remember what we get from the mouse doing the mouse thing. I feel like we should do it to find out. Because <laughs> it's probably important. <laughs> If you buy from the not a great place to open a business, the nurse in the hidden shop says, You're my first customer. We're assuming that the Prince Armor makes you charming. Um, oh, we can save warp back if we want to. In this version. We can buy the Prince Armor right now, so unless it's bad for us to get it, I think don't spoil us. We'll find out yep, in a sec. Okay. This one doesn't happen, right? Uh, no, that is. That's the Prince Armor. Ah, okay. Let's buy and find out. Love makes you live longer? What does it say? Plus... Uh, it said something... It just said plus special. Ah. So where was the place that you that had a locked? Um that had a like it was over this way. confused now. Have we already seen the... I do not know where that one is. Place, Thanks so much for the stream. It's fun having somebody point out these details. I appreciate the game a lot more that way. You're welcome. It's fun talking about these, like, weird little details. Just making less shit. 
Sorry? I mean, honestly, this is just an evening of us shooting shit. Yeah. As, as, as we do. Basically, before we had the stream, we'd load stuff up and talk to each other about <laughs> what was good about them. Yeah, this is literally just exactly what we'd be doing normally. It's a graveyard. Yeah. Notice if you fall in long distances, a puff of, um... Needs to be long enough. Um, so I can do it off of there. Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Is it here or like is it just the beginning? No, this one. No. Anyone remind remember which of the mini shops had a uh, you need to be more charming? one before that though. I am confused. We should do the little mouse man thing yep, here. That's what I was thinking. I was just trying to remember what it was. But yeah. it looks so goofy. Also, like, uh, this this is not good. Yeah. Really bad contrast. So the thing is, like, when we're in retro mode, we actually do have the settings enabled to and like um, mimic a CRT distortion. So that's what it would have looked like on like. Yeah, it's not the CRT distortion I was thinking of. It was, and this one that does need to be equipped. Yeah. It's more just that the gamma might be different. Um. Oh, and it just straight up tells you. I feel like this is a thing where... Um, the game is less like a more modern metroidvania in that they didn't put a whole bunch of sequence all over the place using that <laughs> sword. Yeah, yeah, that is true. Like, they have a little bit of that. Uh... That stuff where, yeah, because it was, like, one of the first, some of the cool things you could do. Well, I mean, like, they do that with these blocks, right? Like, yeah. like they really, like, foreshadow stuff with them. I wonder if part of that was just development time, like, when that feature came in. Versus how far along they were. I mean, they do it a little bit. Yeah. But I'm wondering, like, because that was, yeah. like... 
how late into the game that comes in when it was actually produced. Okay, I think now's a good time yeah. to pack it. Um. <laughs> <laughs> Having never played this as a kid, I'm gonna get so stuck. Yes and no, like, the world is pretty small, so, like, yeah, going I've back through all this. of the areas is not that onerous compared to a lot of games. Yeah, like, I hadn't played it as a kid either, and I didn't find it was, it was too difficult. Um, it's definitely, like, once you're, like, leaving the hub, it's fairly straightforward. Like, it doesn't bring it hugely. It's, it's very difficult to get lost. Yeah. Like, you never don't know where you are. It's just sometimes you don't know. I feel like the magic sword scene was a misfire because every other time you get a sword, it auto equips. Yeah, I think I agree about that. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I think it is the case that like you also need to look at that screen to like know what it does. Yeah. Like. Um. So I'm not sure what we're streaming next week. Um, maybe we'll just finish this. Yeah, maybe. Um, actually get to see some of the stuff we missed because we hit that bug <laughs> and like skipped a whole bunch of being um, Hawkman or Hawkwomen in this case. Um, we were originally going to do Wayman 2, but I, my version for Dreamcast is busted and we've been having a hard time coming across the Dreamcast version. And after doing research, that is the best version. Um, overall, it's had a bunch of like weird iterations whenever it was ported, and definitely to a point where they started like messing up the game on like the PS2 ports. Um, if we ever do get a hold of it, we will do Wayman 2 at some point because I think there's a lot of cool stuff to show with that game. Um, I think it's a particularly good mascot platformer for the. Era, at least just from an art direction standpoint, if nothing else. But yeah, I think that's yeah, about it. So that's it. Thank um, you for joining us. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we'll have that something next week, and then... We should be, depending on how development on the thing that we're working on together goes, we might have a week of streams? Yeah, yeah, we'll have a week uh, of streams. We'll, yeah. We'll... Um, it's just how janky it'll be the first day. Yeah. How janky my part will be, because I've been coding half of the game and drawing both halves. I'm really excited to find out just how my half is broken. Um, whereas, yeah, Christine's had been able to just code straight <laughs> without having to make a bunch of art. Um, but yeah, thank you all for joining us. See you next week. See you next week. I make things stop.